was maybe going to go on tonight. I don't know. You have to let me know if you want a girl's night of crafting. I'm not sure what I'm doing tonight, but I wanted to come on and work on my hope and prayer uh, 24 by 24 that I've been doing along the way with y'all because I have mine up on um, the barn, but um, I need another one. And so I am painting this. And I've already, I've actually sold two finished barn quilts. So I'm going to be getting busy. By the way, I haven't shown it to you yet, but I have what's called an armor of God. And it's a 24 by 24. Um, it's awesome. So I'm going to be starting to paint that. So, but this hope and prayer for America, I... I was actually blown away. I guess I was reminiscing. There was over 4,000 views um, back in, I don't, I think it was March, the end of March, um, when I had the calling on my heart to paint this particular design and do it for, with the America colors and about hope and prayer. So I, uh, re-put it up there and I hope you can watch it. I actually sang there, but I had over 4,000 views and, and that just touched my heart because sometimes I wonder, you know, um, you know, if, if, uh, what I share makes a difference and I hope so. And at the same time, I love just, this brings joy to my heart. So, But some of y'all asked me questions about the barn quilts, or you just come on and ask me. But I wanted you to see and hear how the ridges are. So it's really, take that down even a little bit more. You can see the lines, so it's really easy to follow. And this is made on um, wonderful birch wood, which is great for indoors or outdoors. Okay, so it's real wood. And um, my classes and workshops, I'll sh share with y'all how to seal it for outdoors, um, how to prepare it. Or if you buy a kit from me, I'll, you know, share more about that too. However, I can help you. So, but last night I was laying in bed and I was thinking, I've got five of these in my storage closet and I've got about, 10 or 12 of um, the American flag and I've got two wave the flag and I was like you know what I want to put these on sale and um, because uh, hopefully this doesn't get flagged but you know I mean it's election time no matter you know I don't want to turn this into a political thing please um, but you know, we're blessed to at least be able to cast a vote, but beyond that, we just got to pray for one another and we need to hold on to hope. And I was journaling today about hope and because I want to, um, do some of that mixed media journaling that I was telling you about around scripture. And I was thinking about hope and Matthew 11, it says, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. This is my scribble here for I am gently and loving in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And I think about that's when we have hope is when we know that we've got someone on our side that's cheering us on. And when I read that in Matthew today, I was like, you know, 
that's why we can have hope. It's because some something much greater than just you and I is in control. And I hold on to that hope. I think of that song, um, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Is that what it says? Um, I have to go back and look at those words. But that's why I love hope and prayer for America, these quilts, because I really do believe with everything in me that it is a way for us to have a symbol to look at and say, yes, our hope can grow when we pray. And our hope can grow when we have a relationship. Okay. Now this is going to sound kind of corny. I was talking to my, my it might sound corny. I don't know. But I was reading um, Proverbs 3 today, this morning, and about wisdom. And you might wonder how this comes in with hope. But anyways, um, I was reading about wisdom and how it was, how wisdom was being described in a female way like as a person almost right and I started thinking about I don't know why I was thinking I read this um book by Dutch Sheets called um Angel Armies um and it's just really good and it's about how the angels are you know working on the Lord's behalf all the time right so I was telling my girlfriend, I said, you know, instead of saying the word, you know, joy, I said, I'm getting excited right now thinking about like closing my eyes creatively and seeing like a best friend sitting right next to me and being joy. And, and instead of like craving joy and seeking joy, I'm like, Hey, Joy, how are you? And Joy's talking to me, right? And I think about that with hope. Like, instead of hope being a feeling, what if Jesus were sitting around with me by the campfire and he brought his ministering angels, just like when he was in the wilderness and after Satan left him, the angels, angels come and cared for him. And one was specifically for hope. I don't know. I mean, it's just my, I don't have the proof of that. I just think about that because it just draws me closer where instead of seeking hope, I'm sitting beside hope. And I'm like, you know, hey, hope, how are you? Do you have any words for me today? You know, like, what would your best friend tell you when, when you need to pick me up? And I will tell you, it just got me joyful thinking about that. Like, if, if there were an angel that was assigned the duty of hope, and I could sit with them, or they could come to my cottage and hang out with me, what would they tell me? They would say, Trisha, you know, God has given you hope. He created me to help minister that. But for you to have hope, you've got to lean into him. You've got to pray. You've got to spend time with him because that's how you'll grow closer to him because he made me. So he has hope in him. When you draw close to him, the hope will grow. That's what hope would tell me as a best friend. And then she would tell me, you know, a way to grow hope, Tricia, 
is to start being thankful for what you have. So why don't you take those thankfulness thoughts and turn them into a prayer and write them down as a prayer and say, so I'm just going to do that right now while I'm wanting to grow my hope. Dear Lord, thank you so much for my family. Thank you so much for every day keeping them safe from harm. Thank you so much for giving us a home where we can lay our heads at night. And thank you so much for giving us the ability to have food on our table because there may be others that don't. And Lord, when I think about these times where I worried, you ended up supplying my every need. So Lord, I just want to thank you because you constantly are reminding me that hope is always there. So thank you. And by praying that, I'm feeling hopeful already. I'm just, I'm just feeling that because sometimes we just, I, I believe we've got to be intentional. We'll say, you know, I mean, I know I have Go Find Your Happy because that started in 2014. But today it just hit me. Like instead of seeking, like, oh, I've got to seek happy. Imagine if happy were already here and she was my best friend sitting beside me. She would say, Trisha, when is the last time you read that scripture in the word that the Lord gave you? Delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Have you pondered that lately, girlfriend? Because if you really ponder it, that's going to give you some happy right there. And when is the last time you celebrated like an expression of happy? You know, when's the last time you painted or you crafted something just to show what was in your heart? That's what happy would tell me. And I don't know if y'all are private friends with me on Facebook on my personal profile, but um, I'm taking actually my own workshop on an art class and she incorporates scripture, um, very similar to my heart. And, um, she just, man, she just re-inspired me about like what my process is when I create, you know, designs like this that go out to the public. And the first thing I do is I don't go to scripture right away because I don't know what I'm feeling. So I, I, I actually stop and I, I actually have a chair that I go to all the time. I call it like my thinking chair. Um, and I open up my notebook and I know some of y'all are not writers, but this is I'm just sharing with you what helps me. And so. Maybe this is a little too, well, <laughs> might as well shit. I can't believe I'm going to share this with you. Um, this is why I do this. I said, um, how do I not, I don't know if this resonates with you. If it does, tell me. How do I not allow others to impact my emotion? So Lord, why is this a stronghold? I mean, is my self-esteem that sensitive that I can't handle it or it makes me feel like I'm not enough? Where in the Bible does it help with this? So then I picked up my Bible and I, um, well, I actually picked up my phone and I Googled um, when I don't feel enough for others, Bible scripture. <laughs> and 
then all these scriptures started coming up and it was like, and this one was so good. And I want to do an art piece around this. So if you see me being redundant on it, it's because I want us to do a, like a picture like this, right? Around something like this. But I just love this. Luke 12, six and seven are not five sparrows sold for two pennies, which is like nothing, right? And not one of them is forgotten before God. So he's saying like, you know, they're sold for so little, but they are so important to God. And then it says, why even the hair of your head are numbered. Fear not, you are of more value than many sparrows. Oh my goodness, that just gives me chills. And then I found another one that was like, why do I allow others to impact my emotions? Right. And that's just me being a sensitive person. And, and so there's always a plus side to it and a minus side to it. So I'm grateful the way God made me. So I wouldn't change that. But I loved Romans 12, 12. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And then Hebrews 13, be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, and then a Colossians, put on love. it will bind everything together in perfect harmony. So I'm going to work on a harmony barn quilt. I don't know what it's going to look like yet. Um, oh man, it just came to me like perfect peace, perfect peace in him. But like just me painting and then sharing that with you. So I started, so then I, I like wrote those down and I was like, oh man, I need to get my napkins and my, some of my stickers out and I'm going to do a, a, you know, a session with the girls. Well, guys, y'all watch too. I don't mean to be, but this was collage words. Aren't they awesome? I got them on Amazon and it says, be you, be strong, be enough, be devoted, be content. And I'm like, these are so awesome. They're from Ranger Inc. Um, and I was like, man, those would be so pretty to put on a rock, like to give to somebody or, but I want to, my mission this year is to like create an art journal where I, I like write and then I color in it. So that way I can look back on it. But then what happens is it spills over to like the hope and prayer design and then I can make it. And then y'all can have it to display on your doors and so forth. And by the way, this is exciting. Are you ready for this? This is 24 by 24 and I have 12 by 12. But guess what? I'm going to have these made in four by fours without a hole in it. They can be coasters. But what I'm thinking is I can also have a hole for you and we can make these as Christmas ornaments. The same thing with our flags and some of the other designs. Would you like that? So that way, if you like doing the geometric art with me and you don't have a lot of room, we don't have to do all 24 by 24s. I love the, the um, ornament idea and the little hanging. And... Um, I was actually talking to a lady the other day. I've got to mail her something. And we were talking about life. And I asked, and she works in the pharmaceutical field. And that's been really stressful, right, as a technician. So I said, do you happen to have any space by, like, your own desk space where you can put something? And she was like, yes. So I'm actually going to send her something that she can put by her desk. And um, 
like something like this on a four by four with a little hanging that she could hang right next to her desk or I could include it with an easel. She could put it right there and I could actually even write in like Deborah, my hope. I could put little scriptures in here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh my gosh. I'm going to do that because this one's mine. <laughs> I know. See, this is where I find my happy, you guys. So just like me looking in there for hope, these are awesome places where I could take my little Sharpie marker and I could actually write in my hope scriptures. Oh, my goodness sakes. I love that. I could actually even do a bigger scripture like in white in the red right here. So tell me when you think, when if you love that, but, and just so you know, I mean, you could print it out on a piece of paper and then use Maj Podge and, dec and Decopodge it, right? But I practice my lettering all the time. But that is what I'm going to do. Oh my goodness sakes y'all oh my bible is over here oh i'm like so excited right now i'm so excited this is my leadership bible the john maxwell leadership bible so i when i get off uh with y'all i'm gonna have to like see what um oh wait here we go in the back wait let me see Oh, there's nothing on hope, growth, humanity, humility, integrity. Encouragement. All right. Well, I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to find my little scriptures and I'm going to put them in these areas. In fact, I could actually have the whole board with different scriptures to remind me. And you know what? That's like a that's actually a variation of, you know how they talk about vision boards, like putting things up that you want for the year. And so many vision boards are done around like a goal or I want a new car. And I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. What I am saying is, and I believe 2020 has really hit this. I, it has for me that what is really important and what's really important is, is finding our way back to who God wants us to be for him and remember that he loves us and remember that he died for us. That's what's important. That's what I want. That's what I want on my barn quilt is I want my affirmations in scripture. So when I'm having a hard day that I can go and I can look right there and it will be about hope. Um, you know, running the race, the endurance that he set before us. Oh. Man, y'all, my hope is in the Lord from where my strength comes from. Yes. What scripture is that? Oh, oh okay. Wait, I, okay. Stay with me, please. I'm going to go see if I have a black Sharpie marker because this is wet, but this is totally dry. I want to write that right now because they say there's life and death and the power of the tongue. There's also life and death and the power of writing. So I'm going to write that. Let's see. I know y'all drop off sometimes because my videos go long. But you know what? Sometimes I've had women say that they lay in bed and watch my videos later at night and stuff. So I, this is for me. I know y'all enjoy it. You don't remember the reference. Okay, well, I'll add it back. Um. Okay, let me see if y'all can see. I'm going to move my little thingy here. 
I love it. Um, my head, hand might get a little messy there, but I don't care. I love it. My hope is in Oh, so I'm loving this. From where my, and I could have made this prettier, but you know, I didn't plan it. It just kind of took over. So this is wet down here. My, comes from oh yeah oh yes 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 how awesome will that be when the whole board i'm going to take down that little caption thing it's driving me crazy. I mean, I know y'all. Look at that. So imagine my little sayings that I can have up now on my porch. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glaze it so this will stay permanent. Oh, so good. Okay, if you have another one, you got to have to give it to me. Oh, my hope is in the Lord from where my strength comes from. Oh. I keep my hope in you. I keep my hope in you. I put my trust in you. I put my trust in you. Okay, if y'all decide to do this, Hope and Prayer for America and do your own Bible scriptures or any barn quilt that you decide to do Bible scriptures, please, please share it with me. Imagine if we started sharing those, how scripture would get out on social media and how encouraging we need to, we need to get some encouragement going. So instead of having it be, um, a channel to complain and stuff we could do oh that's so exciting y'all i'm i'm i am pumped up excited i mean i thought about like putting different fabrics and family pictures like in uh the barn quilts but i love the scripture idea on the meaning for like hope and prayer oh. And, and I have like the 12 by 12. I think it's like $16 this weekend, guys. I mean, it's so low. So even if you've done one and you want to do one, even if you want to change up like hope and prayer, like for, um, like for cancer, survivor and you want this to go in his or her wall you know you could actually change the red to another color like pink or turquoise turquoise goes wonderful with the navy um so if you want and you need kind of my uh coaching on like hey i want to change up the color Because then what you could do is you could put inspiring quotes for them. Um, just for them that they could look at. You know what I mean? I think.
think that would be so cool. I, I just never knew how my heart was going to open through these barn quilts because... I just keep thinking like when we have like, let's say a loved one move away or go off to college. I have some like monogram quilts and things like that, but you could actually put the quote or the saying that you love for them right in the quilt. And that's something that they can have forever. So I'm like really excited, y'all. Thank you for just listening to me and being with me while I paint. You give me incredible companionship. And I think that's why I love um, the Happy Tribe. I mean, the doors are are closing, but... where we can share ideas with one another and get discounts on stuff and things, but also some ideas on if you want to sell anything like at a church bazaar. Like Linda, if you wanted to on on your uh, that the church Christmas bazaar, you could have the four by fours and paint it and then sell them, you know. And I bet you nobody would have that there. You would be the only one that would have something like that there. I am super pumped to study hope. And here's the thing. I actually have a book out that I talk about hope. It's called reignitinghope.com. Let me type it in for you. Um, It's on Amazon. Um, so I'm probably re-preaching to myself. I mean, obviously, I need to pull out my own book. My book is not just a reading book. It actually has journal prompts and lines and things like that. And it also has other stories of hope. It's the people in there and the book is just amazing. So, and if you want an autograph copy, then just contact me or, and I've been praying about that too. Like we could do art around the devotional books and stuff, but I'm just excited over Filling this barn quilt up with my scriptures that speak to me. So that is going to be my Bible study. Mm. Okay, y'all. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this little coming on time together. And um, I'm not sure if I'll be back on tonight or not. I am going to set up some events so y'all can watch the tree and the give thanks. I may take some pre-orders so that way um, if y'all want to get it in the mail and then I teach the class that you'll have the product in front of you. And, um, and we can do it as a group. For fun. How's that sound? So I'll get those links up this weekend and then I'll make an announcement about that. Okay. 
But I'm going to finish this hope and prayer with scriptures. Some encouraging words. All right. Love y'all bunches. Don't forget to go to... Um, don't forget to go to GoFindYourHappy.com if you want to get um, Hope and Prayer for America. Okay? And let me know if you like the little 4 by 4 ideas. Oh, wait. Before I hang up. Hold on. Because I got to show you. Sometimes when, you, when I say that and then you can't actually see it. These are the little 4 by 4s Look. They're little snowmen. You see that? Aren't they adorable? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them in different different designs. So you'll be able to order them with or without holes. So cute. All right. Now I'm officially leaving. <laughs> Love you bunches. I'll talk to you all soon, okay? All right. Bye.